Hello, it's me, Katie, and welcome to another studio vlog. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on making this guy a commission for Skype a Scientist, a nonprofit that connects scientists to classrooms around the globe. Um, I, along with other two artists, were asked to create an artwork for a coaster that will be distributed in the Philadelphia area. Each of us were given an aquatic animal that could be found at the Jersey Shore, which is where I grew up. And my animal, if you couldn't tell from the illustration, was a horseshoe crab. And through this whole process, I actually learned that they are a super cool animal. So if by the end of this video, you don't like horseshoe crabs, we're gonna have a problem, okay? Because they are awesome. This project is funded by the Penn Treaty Special Services District with the goal of making science more accessible to a wider audience. So the front of the coaster will have my illustration and then the back will have a fun fact about horseshoe crabs. So we're gonna be working on the illustration in this video. It's been really amazing working with Sarah McNulty, a squid biologist and the founder of Skype a Scientist on this project. You might know her from the squid episode of the Ologies podcast with Allie Ward. And if you didn't know the Ologies podcast, you need to check it out. So I'll link all that good stuff down below for you to check out. And I'm excited to share the process with you. So we're gonna do some research and then we're gonna do a lot of sketching and painting in this video. So if you're excited for that, Good, you clicked the right video. Let's get on with some horseshoe crab research and like and subscribe to my channel for science, you know? Yay science. So, let's go. One thing I really like about them is that they just look so ancient. <laughs> like, like, how is this thing real? Right now I just have a bunch of Google image photos up on horseshoe crabs because I want to get a feel of their anatomy first before I start to stylize it. I want to get a grasp on their body parts just so I can accurately represent that. Fills out a page of horseshoe crab research and then my friend texted me back and I should just reach out to him before because he gave me Really really good facts. Look at that Look at all Those horseshoe crab facts probably we're not expecting to learn some horseshoe crab facts today But they're actually really really interesting creatures and I was a little bit nervous about getting horseshoe crabs at first because in my mind, they just look like this green blob or kind of just like a helmet or something. I always would remember being at the beach and some of them would wash ashore and then I would be really scared of them because they just look scary. They don't look cute and cuddly, but there's so much to this one species. So I think what's really cool about illustration is that in order to accurately depict your subject, you have to know the history behind it. You have to know the anatomy behind it. Uh, so it's just really fun for me to do this type of research. And I think it's really cool doing projects like this because it just brings awareness to these creatures and to their conservation. I'm not adding in any color at this point. I usually brainstorm color after I get the composition down. So we're just doing pencil sketches for the next couple minutes.
Last thing I'm gonna do before emailing these sketches over is, is make this easy to view PDF document. I'm just using Google Slide. I like doing this because it's easy for the client to view everything. It's very straightforward. It's very quick to make and it looks very professional. Sent and now we wait for feedback. All right, while we wait for feedback, I'm gonna work on some other things and I thought this was a great time to thank the sponsor of this video, Adobe Express. I have been a long time user of Adobe Creative Cloud. I use Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, all that good stuff. But Adobe Express is their free to use platform that is right on the web. Adobe Express allows you to easily and quickly create anything from flyers, logos, and for us, commission priceless. I actually got this idea because my friend recently became an esthetician, esthetician, and she sent me her price list for all her products and services. And I was like, that is such a good idea for artists to put their commission price list online and post it on social media so people can see and blah, 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 blah. And I looked on Adobe Express and there are tons and tons of priceless templates that are already created that you can customize to your brand with your logo, prices, commission prices, artwork, all that good stuff. I actually use their templates all the time to create my Patreon invites for my Discord events because it's just fun and easy and they're just like, a good time. And then on there, you have access to Adobe stock photos and also all their fonts. They have over 20,000 different fonts and we could get into my font favorites in another video. Uh, if you're not too savvy with Photoshop or any of that, Adobe Express is a great place to start. And I will leave a link in my description for you to check out Adobe Express if you are interested. And also if you're interested in Adobe Creative Cloud, I will leave a link down below as well. So thank you to Adobe Express for sponsoring this video. I hope some of their templates help you and your art business and let's continue on with the video. Okay, this is not really related to the commission at all, but I do have a few things to show you guys. In the last video, I showed you that I bought some illustration textbooks and I actually got started on this drawing for illustration one and I really like it so far. One of the reasons I got this was because I'm working on my illustration portfolio, as you guys know. Um, and I thought it would be a good way to just like get into illustration a little bit more. So I've been taking notes in here if there is a drawing i really like i'll kind of just do a study off of that yeah i've been liking that and then i got these samples for scarves and blankets wink so maybe we'll have a winter collection of sorts later in the year but yeah love getting samples first look at this delicious little sandwich i made it's um but the feedback just came back and I'm gonna give you five seconds to guess which concept the client liked better and do 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 Did you guess? Okay, <laughs> let's get started on the final to see if you were right. It was uh, this one with all the cute little critters and all the other animals you could find with the horseshoe crab. As you can tell, this is a very rough preliminary sketch. So we're gonna clean this up, put some more details on all these little critters. And I think I should do traditional. What do you think? I haven't painted in a while and I have like a really huge urge to paint. I think this would be such a fun painting. So I might break out the gouache for this. This is my first time I don't think I've ever used tracing paper. Now I'm gonna trace it onto the tracing paper. And I'm going to use an 8B pencil.
actually worked. Or if that was just a waste of time. <gasps> Yay, it worked! It's very faint, but it worked. We're finally at the painting stage and this is my favorite part it's when everything comes together and all that sketching we did really helps with the final painting because you don't have to think too much about where things go oh and by the way i'm using a mix of winsor newton watercolor gouache colored pencils some watercolor crayons and i'm using the arches hot press watercolor paper and as promised, I'm going to hit you with some horseshoe crab facts. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to give you some of the facts my friend Ryan gave me. He gave me so many good ones. And we're just gonna paint and talk about horseshoe crabs because they're really, really cool. So here are the facts. Well, first the fact I'm working with is that they have blue blood and remain unchanged for 400, 45 million years and because of that they get the nickname living fossil which they do look like a living fossil so good nickname they have blue blood because instead of iron like we have they have copper in their blood and us humans actually harvest their blood for what is called an LAL test. And this is used to test medicines, vaccines, and how it works is that there is a agent called amoebocytes. This creates like an instant visible reaction and basically coagulates the blood. Their blood coagulates when it comes in contact with pathogens. And then we use that to test if your medicine has any pathogens. On the back, they have what people think is a stinger, but it's actually called a telson. It's kind of like their tail. And a lot of people try to pick them up from their tail, which is a big no-no. Friend said it's kind of like picking someone up by their finger or toe, like it is very uncomfortable and it hurts. Though they look very harmful, they have that hard shell and like spiky bits, they actually aren't very dangerous at all. I always thought they were dangerous when they would wash ashore, I would always be so afraid of them. They can't really hurt you at all. And they're mouths are kind of just made of this bristle kind of like a toothbrush so they're not dangerous at all and they are what is called a keystone species which i remember this vocabulary word from ecology in college and that means that they are a species that the ecosystem largely depends on so if the species was taken away from the ecosystem there would be lots of devastating effects because of their increased demand for their blood for medicines and vaccines we are over harvesting them at a very unsustainable rate. So basically horseshoe crabs are really cool animals. A lot of you might not be from the East Coast or near the Atlantic Ocean. So maybe you've never even heard of a horseshoe crab or seen one. So you just gained a lot of knowledge about a new animal.
you enjoyed the process of making this little horseshoe crab guy. What should we name it? Comment down below. <laughs> the coasters with my artwork will be out in the Philadelphia area in the next few months. So definitely follow me on Instagram to see updates on the project. I will post them when they are out. And also post the other artists artwork there as well. So definitely check it out. Check out Sarah at Sarah Mac Attack. Check out Skype a Scientist and yeah, thank you Adobe Express for sponsoring this video. That is everything. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a lovely day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.